Hey guys, today is a beautiful morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get some soil blocks done. Uh, we've got some compost that we have uh, mixed with that sawdust uh, mixture uh, bark over there that we have uh, that you've seen in other videos. So it's pretty clumpy and it's been wet. So it's good and thick and got some topsoil. It's just really, really good stuff that we're going to uh, use to make soil blocks. So what we're going to do is get our soil block maker get that ready because basically the one thing we like about the soil block that um compared to traditional we have those little black trays well those little black trays are good but if you have something that's very dainty and uh it seems very flimsy like a cucumber or a lettuce or other greens that tend to be harder to get out of that you tend to tear up the root system trying to get it out of that black cup so what the soil blocks does is it basically lets it root without anything harming it around the outside that you just take that and bear it right there in the hole. So we're gonna get some soil blocks made and then that way we can be ready for fall. All right, so we have our soil block maker. What we'll do, fill the bottom up. What I always like to do is just take my shovel, make sure it's packed in real good. When it looks like it's filled, fill it up some more. All right, just like that. We'll go take it over here to get all the excess off. Take it over here and bam, got it. So basically once you do it, and I'll show you the next one. I don't have enough hands for foam. Take it and then you sit down and you just grab your handle, push up, here's your four beautiful blocks. So let's keep this process going. We're gonna to try to fill up this uh, whole board here, fill up that whole board here and try to find some more to fill up as well. That way we will be ready to rock. All right, so you see Harley's gonna take over doing this for me. You see how she's doing? She's just pushing into the blocks. Now here's, if your soil is too wet, I've been letting this sit and my girls put water in here and it's just too mushy. So what we did is I got Aiden to go pick up a little bucket of the top soil that's more of the sandy soil to mix with it. You do want a very moist consistency when you're making soil blocks so they can pack and hold good. All right, hold on Harley, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so get it over here. All right, what you do with the soil block, Pack it in with your fingers. Push it in hard with your fingers. Make sure it's in there good. See how you need some more? Put some more in there. Okay. All right, we're gonna let her fill that up. So you see what she's doing? She's just packing it full. When it looks like it's almost too full, you keep on putting more in there. There you go, good job. All right, push them in there good. All right, so now what we do is we take it, take it, put it on its edge. Flip it over, push down a little bit. Uh-uh, hold on. There you go, okay, now look, watch out. Take it, push on your trigger to kind of pack it. Lift it up, there you go. Soil blocks, and they keep on going. Keep on making them, girls. Yay. While they keep on making them, I'm gonna show you what, it, what we do after that. So we've got this organic fertilizer that we buy. Actually, uh, if you go now, it's places like Walmart and Home Depot and other big box stores, a lot of their garden stuff is going on sale because they're getting it out for Christmas and Thanksgiving and holidays. And you can usually pick up this kind of organic uh, feed or organic uh, fertilizer for hardly nothing. I mean, like just half price most of the time. So we go buy and we buy mess loads of it this time of year. So that way we'll have it all winter and the start of spring. Most people don't, don't garden, but just in the springtime. But since we're gardening in the fall, this helps us get a head start on our soil block. So what we'll do is, uh, hold on, no, uh, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Right, they pushed in good. All right, there you go. All right, just like that. A little pressure, let the water come out. Lift up. There you go. 
See how that one pack good? Pack it a little tighter. Okay, so we've got our soil block. So what I'll do now is take some of this little fertilizer and just, just go over it just a little bit. Not much. Just a little bit. You know, organic fertilizer is only going to use what it needs. You're not going to burn it with organic fertilizer. And I just, you know, just put a little there. Because what we're going to do is put our seeds in this little hole here. And then we'll take another little bit of this topsoil and just kind of just sprinkle it across the top. That'll help us get our good firm foundation for whatever we're planting. If it be cabbage, radishes, carrots, or so forth. Um, you can plant lettuces in soil blocks. We'll probably just scatter lettuce in a lot of our greens. But we'll probably plant our, cab uh, excuse me, our cabbage and some of the carrots and things like that in these soil blocks here. finish up doing these uh, soil blocks we've been talking about doing them for weeks I'm glad we got to them uh, Miss Mac is going ahead and planting them like I said we've been going over with fertilizer just drop a little fertilizer on them this organic fertilizer that we buy at the big box stores like Walmart and Miss Mac is putting labeling what goes where and we're getting excited for fall gardening aren't you She just doesn't want to talk on the video today. What else we plant? Cauliflower is going to be next. Then Brussels sprouts and then cabbage. So what's been planted so far? Um, a local broccoli and some of my gardener broccoli. So the, all of these are broccoli. So why do we plant? Why do you? Why would you say the reason is that we want to go try different broccolis and different cauliflowers and different carrots? Um, are all different varieties so we really want to just see what is going to be the best in our area and also I did probably more broccoli than I'm going to do anything else because our whole family eats broccoli so I don't want to plant more than we can eat so we eat a lot of broccoli I'm going to plant a lot of broccoli um, my kids tend to not eat as much cabbage and Brussels sprouts so we're going to plant less of those things now, I love those things, but like Mr. said, it doesn't benefit us to, to try to plant a ton of those and try to grow a lot because I, I mean, the kids will eat that and Misty will too. They do it kicking and screaming compared to me. I really enjoy it, but broccoli, they really, really like. So, uh, Misty's got a good point there. So, she's planting. We're going to finish this basically. Now, cauliflower is not something that grows well, they say, in Mississippi, but we've got some row covers. We're going to try those. We're going to put them in soil blocks, get them strong. Let them weather in our garage and then we'll put them as it gets a little bit cooler into the garden and from there uh, we'll we'll put some row covers on them and hopefully they'll germinate well now the things that we're going to direct so let's talk about that just for a second carrots lettuces lettuces <laughs> and then we're going to direct so those um, greens yeah yeah we're going uh, most of all of our green leafy vegetables probably except for just the spinach but all the other ones green leafy like your salad mixes and stuff like that will be direct so and then the carrots all right we're gonna wrap it up finish up the soil blocks getting ready for fall prep of the garden here again we don't have frost till like november so we're going to go ahead and just get all this stuff done get it ready to go prep it for the garden but actually won't put it in the garden for a while so um it's been a great day. We've had fun with the kids. The kids have all helped us. Now they're blowing up this jump that we've had. So I think they're going to have a good time for the rest of the day. And uh, we're going to have a fun time. Happy homesteading, y'all.